what I want to do is I want to determine if I have linear equations or not. So to determine if you have a linear equation, there's a couple things I talked about. One, all linear equations can be written in the form of y equals mx plus b. The other thing you need to know about linear equations is there's two rules. One, you cannot have a variable in the denominator. And two, you cannot have variables multiplied by each other. So let's take a look at question number one. Here, we have a fraction. We have a denominator, right? It's a rational expression over here. But we have five in the denominator. Well, can we rewrite that as y equals mx plus b? Because I know I don't have a variable in the denominator, so I'm good with there. But can I rewrite it like this? And the answer is yes. If you were to kind of look at this and divide your five into x, you'd have x over five plus 12 over five. And remember this x, this has a one in front of it too, right? So we can write this as y equals 1 fifth x plus 12 over five. So here my b is gonna be 12 fifths and my m is equal to 1 fifth. I don't even know what that was. And my b is equal to 12 fifths. Next problem. I look at this problem and I say, well, Let's divide this out and see if I divide it out, see if it makes any difference. So y equals a 7 over x minus x over x. Well, here, my x's are going to cancel out to give me 1, right? So I can write this as y equals 1x times 7 minus 1. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to get this x off the bottom. So therefore, this is um, not linear. Because remember, you cannot have a variable in the denominator. Next problem. Um, this is already in mx plus b form. I have my m is 3 and my b is 4. However, x squared means y equals 3x times x minus 4. So therefore, I have a variable multiplied by another variable. So therefore, this is also not linear. And for this last problem, I have y equals negative x minus 21. I don't have a variable in the denominator nor do I have another variable multiplied by another variable. So therefore, I can write m is equal to negative 8 and b is equal to negative 20. And that is linear. So that's how you determine if a linear equation is linear or not.